Okay, now we're gonna set up our API. Uh, pretty easy to do, so we're gonna create a Python virtual environment to contain all of our Python packages. Uh, pretty, we're gonna use virtual env to do that. Uh, if you don't have it on Mac, you can use brew to install it, virtual env. And we'll just wait for that to, I've already got it, so it shouldn't do anything interesting. Yeah, it's all good. So virtual m dash p, version of Python you want to use, mine's Python 3, env, yeah, we're going to call it env. Let's have a second. And it's created this file here, no, this folder here, sorry. And all of our packages and stuff are going to be contained within that which is nice, so if we want to wipe out that, that Python environment, we just wipe out that folder. To activate it, we're going to go source env bin activate, and we're going to pip install Django. Pip freeze so that we can see all the packages that have been installed with this particular environment. It's just those three. Now to create a new Django project, we go Django admin start project. Start project. And I'm going to call it core. And I'll, you'll see why I do it, why I call it core. In a second. So now it's created an a folder called core, we're going to go into core, you can see we've got an inner core here. Do I have a tree? Yeah. So the reason why I called the project core is so that this folder here would also be called core and that's because it contains our core functionality, our settings, our you know web server, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just the way that I like to name these types of projects as opposed to having this folder name something different across multiple projects. Anyway, I just don't like it. So I'll do it this way. I'm going to go out here and in the outer core, we're going to rename that to API. Now we've got API, app, and our M. So we've got the API and the app, the two different applications separated in the root, the root uh, folder here. Now we need to activate, sorry not activate, we need to run our API server and so to do that we can create another make command and we're going to call this server and to do that we're going to go, first we're going to want to activate or source from the root directory, we're going to want to source our virtual environment first. The way we do that inside the make for file is instead of writing source, we just use the dot here. So I'm not sure if you've ever seen this before, but trust me, it'll make sense. Bin and then activate, and then within the same command, and we're going to, in the same command, cd into the API folder, and a third, we're going to Python, because the Python that will be activated will be this Python, not our global Python manage.py run server and that's going to allow us to, cook to to manage everything from our root directory this is why we're creating our make file in this way so if I want to run the, the server I can deactivate, don't need that anymore I can quickly run make server from the root and it will do everything that we need to do now this means that it's working, like this is good so Another thing we're going to do is we're going to, yep, now it works, we're all good. And now we've got our React Native app set up on both Android, iOS, that's all good. And we've also got the API. Now let's start coding. 